Do you know how to get Justin Trudeau to accept an offer of American help to fight wildfires in your province? Don't live in Alberta, that's how. The Fort McMurray wildfire is still burning out of control after burning through parts of the town, and it's headed for the Saskatchewan border. Last reports say the fire is currently 355,000 hectares in size, growing 70,000 hectares yesterday alone. The fire is still triggering evacuations. This time, thousands were evacuated from work camps north of Fort Mac. And the fire burned into town again, affecting even more houses. The air quality caused by these fires is highly dangerous. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 38 yesterday. There were 8 new wildfire starts yesterday alone, with 19 wildfires burning, and 5 of those are burning out of control. It's an all-hands-on-deck type situation in Alberta. But Justin Trudeau turned down American help to fight the wildfires ravaging Alberta. Actually, Trudeau declined help from Mexico, the United States, Taiwan, Israel, and Russia to help fight fires in Alberta. He declined every offer. But guess what? Trudeau has allowed American assistance to battle wildfires in Manitoba. Minnesota has been sending planes to fight the Caddy Lake fire in Manitoba near the Ontario border. That's a neighborly thing to do by our very best ally. Minnesota sent two water bombers from the U.S. Forestry Service to help manage the fire that triggered evacuations in Manitoba cottage country. So why? Why are the smaller fires in other provinces getting American help while Alberta doesn't? The fire in Fort Matt grew 70,000 hectares just yesterday. Why is Trudeau standing in the way of American and international offers of help for Alberta? but not anywhere else. We all know if this disaster was in Quebec and not Alberta, every asset available would be brought to bear. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.